Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So I wanted to talk about the class names library and how you can use it to kind of clean up your React code, especially when it's related to adding classes. So this is a pull request that's against Dennis Ivey's project um, called Mumble. He's a maintainer of this project and there's some code written that basically did stuff like this, right? We have some components where we needed to dynamically add different classes based on variables that are set in the properties of the component. So you can see in this example, we have an author box class where he is dynamically adding the class names that are passed in and then concatting those with like string interpolation to author box. And then he has another one attached with size. So after first seeing this approach, um, I decided that maybe there's a better way we can do this. And I've used the class names library in the past, and you can kind of simplify this code by using class names. So let me just show you what class names is. Um, it's a package that you can import. It's just one function called class names, and you import it from the class names like package. Okay, so this is an npm package you install, and then it gives you access to a function. But the main takeaway of this function is that you can pass it a list of your classes, and it's going to basically build up your class string for you okay you don't have to do all this like manual logic of checking if something's there and then attaching it etc it does that for you um, but this is a really simple example but as you can see it kind of cleans up the code a little bit there's no need to like doing these like strange plus spaces it just does it for you and attaches them and joins them with spaces for you but there was another example that i kind of wanted to show that really drives this point home okay so if you go down here there is a button component and if you see on the left, the code is basically making an array, okay? So they make an array with button being the default class. And then they check if button styles is passed in, in a prop. And then we check if button styles is main. And then we push other things onto this array, like different class names onto the array, depending on if outline is true or not. And then we have like an else statement and we do the same thing where we push different class names depending on if outline is true. And then if size is set, we push a different size class and then if class name is a set we push in another class name so like although this solution works i mean like the classes showed up on the components just fine and the component was styled correctly this works but there is a better way in my opinion to achieve this so if you go down here if you look down here this is what i refactored that code to using the class names library so you can see here what you can do is you can pass in your class name property that was passed into the component just so that's kind of attached to the class and then we have that default class of button. So instead of having to have a, an array of one element of button, you just pass in the button string. But the main takeaway, the, the important part of this example is you can also pass it an object, right? So this is a key value map where on the left you have your class names that you are like needing to put on your component. And on the right is the Boolean logic that decides if that component should be true or not, right? So if this should be put onto the class or not. So instead of having like all these nested if statements and stuff, you can kind of do it all in line here and just say put button main outline if the button style is main and outline is true, right? Put button sub outline if the button is sub and outline is true. And then you can also add dynamic classes. So in this example, you can do the brackets and do like string interpolation and add a dynamic class. This is just an ES6 syntax um, where you can dynamically attach properties to objects. And if, again, if the right side of this value is true, then this class is gonna be put onto your component. If it's false, then it will not. I guess you can use your own judgment to figure out which approach you find cleaner. I think, in my opinion, the less if statements and the less branching you have in your code, um, the easier it is to understand. And again, this still has the same amount of branching, right? We have like these, uh, this Boolean logic here, but I do think this is a little bit easier to digest, right? You can, from the bat, you know exactly what classes are gonna be put on the component, and you can see how that logic is set up to dynamically add or remove that class, right? There's no like having to scroll back up to the top, understanding why we're st pushing stuff to an array, um, understanding why we're joining with a space here. Um, yeah, so that's just my two cents on that. Um, but I ended up doing a lot of refactoring just throughout the code base to kind of remove all this logic where we dynamically like put spaces and stuff. But I think it just makes, makes the code um, a lot cleaner to read when you use this library. So definitely keep that in mind if you're new to React and you want to figure out a good way to basically dynamically style your components um, with classes. All right, that's really all I had to share with you all today. I just wanted to make a little 
quick little informational video about this library. If you have any libraries that you like to use instead of class names, uh, leave a comment below. I'm interested in hearing your opinions on what you like using. Also, if you like this video, be sure to um, give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. And like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and bell icon because I'm going to be publishing other videos like this in the future that should hopefully help you become a better React and web developer. All right. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.